My goodness. Well, you made it as hard as possible, didn't you, Arena? Well, you put it done, had to put none, done had put everything in the way that you could. Oh, but I got it. I got the wall of fight. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. I know I've been away for a little while. I was sick. My throat hurt. I couldn't talk that well. But I'm back. Not only am I back uh, with this well oiled red machine here, this is the deck that pushed me to D1. So we do get Division 1 in this. We are in shooting range of mythic tier right now um and it's all thanks to this oily boy right here well oiled machines really 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 good deck extremely powerful extremely effective extremely fast kind of an iteration of the hot old goblins deck a little bit of that in that but just even better some better combos some better artifacts all around solid but before we get into that one before we discuss it i need you to do something for me do you know what i need you to do for me Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't like and subscribe uh, to the channel, uh, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which is in fact a YouTube werewolf. It will absolutely rip you up. He is a YouTube werewolf who will rip you to shreds. You gotta watch out for him. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. Yes, we're almost at 17k. Are we few away from 17 k uh, one, uh, no, not 17k, 1.7k, sorry, 1,700 followers on Twitch, we'd love for you to be there as well, you can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information, uh, post your decks, post your memes, whatever you want, and of course, this deck, and all the other decks that I build, for your convenience, are all available down below on my Aether Hub, uh, I would love you to go to that Aether Hub, I'd love you to go there, I'd love you to be there, so check that out as well, if you want a copy of this, so, what are we talking about with the oily boys right here? We are going to be oiling, but we're just going to be oiling machines as well. Um, Cacophony Scamp is such a good card. Uh, why? I love cards that when they die, they do damage. Um, any card that dies and does damage is going to be a banger in my book. Why? I love cards that give you an effect upon death. There's so much removal. There's so much board wipe. I've won games because of this, because they hadn't been expecting something to go off or the extra power on there to just do that little extra ping of damage. It's like a held lightning bolt right ready to go. And of course, when it dies, it gets to proliferate as well, which is going to make everybody even more hot, sticky and oily, which is fantastic. Three of him. Churning Reservoir. Uh, he's a good one. We might have to bust the goblins out of him, but as an oil fountain, he's not that bad. Uh, one red. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an oil counter on the target artifact or uh, creature you control, which is very useful. Then, of course, you can pay two to create a red Phyrexian Goblin token. Activate only if an oil counter is removed from a permanent you control uh, or a permanent you with an oil counter is put in a graveyard this turn. Pretty easy to do, so we can go wide with Goblins on that on that churning reservoir right there. Two of them, fine. Um, Exuberant Fuseling, another crazy Gobbo. Another crazy red Gobbo right there. One red. Zero one trample. Now, what is interesting about him is he gets plus one for each oil counter on him. When he gets the enters the battlefield, he gets an oil counter. And whenever a creature or artifact, any kind, it can even be token. So this is important to remember that it can even be token. A lot of times it says non-token artifact, non-token creature. No, as long as it was put into a graveyard um, from the battlefield, uh, put an oil counter on Exuberant Fusely. Then he's going to get more and more power. He's going to be able to trample over the side right there, which is extremely useful. Gleeful Demi Demolition. I don't know how I forgot this one before. Crack open an artifact. If we control that artifact, guess what? Uh, create 3311 Red Phyrexian Goblin tokens. I wish it was a flash. Uh, I wish it was instant, not flash. Or flash, either one. Uh, because this is really cool. Putting that much goblins on the board for cracking an artifact. Blow open the Churning Reservoir. Why not? Blow open a treasure token. That's what we're going to be blow, blowing open a few times. A treasure token, whatever you want to blow open, um, just crack it. Just crack it open with a Gleeful Demolition. Do you need all three of them? Eh, I had four originally. I changed it down to add a play with fire. 
uh, to add some more burn in here. But you don't actually have to put three of them. You could do two, but I think yeah, you want, definitely want some of them to be able to go wide. Uh, play with fire, of course, the standard throw fire out at uh, throw fire out card. The fact that it can go to face, the fact that it can go to your opponent's face, uh, and that it can help you scry when you do that specifically is going to be key. Sometimes we're going to need to get a mana out of the way, and we're just going to need to do direct damage to somebody, which is very important. Kami's Flare is a good one. Uh, a modified creature, three damage to any target creature. Planeswalker, very versatile right there. Then two damage to permanent controller if you control modified creature. So what is a um, uh, modified creatures? Equipment, auras you control, and encounters are modifications. That means anything with a one one with a counter on it, meaning even an oil counter is considered modified. If you've added oil to it, it is modified, meaning that we can effectively put five damage out into the play field for only two mana, which is a good deal. Three Lightning Strike. Uh, three Lightning Strike, of course, that can finish the game right there, especially when you're pounding away with Mono Red at them for a long time right there. Uh, one Red, one Black. Lightning Strike deals three damage to any target. Really, really, really good stuff right there. Um, get anything out of the way you need out of the way, and just a solid all around removal. Rune Develt Horde Master. Now, here's where things get interesting, guys, because I kind of forgot about that we had a Goblin Captain in standard right now and i said damn how did i forget a gobbo captain one red one 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 i wish he was a little bit more power probably the weakest part of this card is that his power is not higher other goblins you control get plus one plus one but we have four of them and we can really get goblins to be swinging a lot of shmeat uh whenever rune Develt or another goblin you control dies exile the top card of your library if it's a goblin you may cast that card into the end of your next turn a nice little selection there letting you get some cards off the top and maybe even casting more goblins as you go a couple of these guys along with gleeful demolition you've built a pretty effective go wide army um and how do we make it hurt even more well we're gonna get to that fable the mirror breaker of course the quintessential penultimate goblin card right here with reflections of kiki jiki create a 2-2 goblin shaman creature whenever this creature attacks create a token a treasure token now remember treasure tokens are artifacts again gleeful demolition crack your artifacts open you don't need a lot of mana to run this deck you're not going to need that many treasure tokens i would rather crack one treasure token open uh for the three extra goblins than anything else right there you may discard up to two cards if you do draw that many cards of course a nice uh, filter of cards right there then exile and return as reflections of kiki jiki which naturally is create a token that's a copy of another target non-legendary creature accepted as haste sacrifice at the beginning of next end step i like to do cacophony scamp and I like to do zoom fuse link. Why? When he dies, he explodes. So that's a free extra damage. And uh, when and then of course when anything else dies, also this gets more uh, on it. Or you can do another rune devout horde master and put one one counter on even more goblins. Uh, really really useful to do that multiplication there with Kiki Jiki. But cacophony scamp is a great idea, especially if you're just pushing in. You can proliferate and explode at the end of that. So that's a really good uh, thing to duplicate right there. Magmatic Sprinter. Now, this is a Phyrexian Warrior, um, and she is going to absolutely oil everybody up. She is going to oil like you've never oiled before. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Max and the Damagers, welcome. Uh, three, uh, three, three mana, one red, and two, three, two, haste Phyrexian Warrior. When Magmatic Sprinter enters the battlefield, to put two oil counters and target artifact or creature you control. At the beginning of your end step, return Magmatic Sprinter to its own hands unless you remove two counters. I am not mad about returning this in my hand. I want it to return to my hand. Why? It's immune to board wipes that way. You either have to kill it with an instant or you can't kill it. Uh, any kind of sorceries, any kind of board wipes, it's going to be immune. It's just going to keep pouncing back and forth at a three speed haste. I'll pay three for three damage. Absolutely. And the extra oil, guess where you put that extra oil? Guess where you oil things up? I'll tell you. Urbarask's Forge. Putting two extra oil as much on Urbarask's Forge every turn, along with the oil it puts, you can get this thing to 8s, 9s, 10s unbelievably quickly. You drop Urbarask, next turn you drop Magmatic Sprinter. Urbarask is already a 5. Um, a 4, oh, is it 4 or 5? The first one's a 1. Then you add two more and one. Yeah, it's a four on turn four. And then all of a sudden you do it again. 
it's a seven on turn five, and then just continue from there and there and there. It gets more and more ridiculous as you use Magmatic Sprinter to oil up that machine of Herbrisk's Forge. If we're talking about just swinging in with as much power as we want, trampling over, that's what we gotta do right there. We gotta use Magmatic Sprinter to oil up. Hey, and if you don't have Urza Sports, guess who else likes oil? Exuberant Fuseling likes oil, and he's trample as well. Yes, he will also take the oil, and he will also trample over with the damage. He will take it, absolutely. So um, Magmatic Sprinter as an uncommon is a great combo card. Again, machines, mechanized warfare. Everybody is going to be doing more damage. All the little goblins, all of a sudden, they're punching way above their weight. Um, one red, one red, and one uh, enchantment. If a red or artifact source you control would deal damage to an opponent, uh, an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it instead deals that much damage plus one. Okay, so now everyone is trampling over with more damage. Everyone is swinging in with more damage. This horde of goblins just beefed up, and damage coming out is just terrible. Machine grinds on. Then we're going to finish off with Squee Dubious Marnark for a little bit more of that uh, goblin goodness. One red and two, two, two haste. Whenever Squee Dubious Marnark attacks, create a one, one red goblin creature token that's tapped and attacking. You may cast Squee Dubious Marnark from your graveyard by paying one red and three and excellent four other cards rather than paying its mana cost. Very, very useful for a resurrection uh, right there and to just swing in with a lot of damage. A lot of haste on here, a lot of surprise damage. People can clear the board, they can hit removal as much as they want, but the inexorable drive of the red machines just keeps coming. Uh, we're gonna go with our Urbis Forge on there. Of course, you know that one red and two. The beginning of combat, put an oil counter, then it creates an X1, where X is the amount of oil you have. Trample and haste, then you sacrifice it. Fantastic, the red machines march on. 20 Mountains, 1 Soku Zen, 1 Autonomous Furnace for card draw, and 1 Monumental Facade for a little bit of more hot, dripping, drizzly oil all over everyone and everyone's self. Uh, the only thing we have is 2.1 here with a 20, 23 land mana. We have our funny little pet guy here. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. Um, I'm enjoying that guy. Uh, we have our Squee Goblin uh, Stained Glass Window here. 19 creatures, 13 goblins, 14 warriors. It's actually a warrior deck, really more than a goblin deck, believe it or not. 10 Phyrexians, um, 5 instants, 3 sorceries, 6 artifacts, 6 enchantments. That's what we're looking at right there. The Oil Boys, here we go. That's what we're looking at right there. If you want to look at it on the, on the sideways view, it's only 1, 2, and 3, guys. That's it. No more complicated than that. If you want to put some more burn, um, the only thing that I would say, speaking of max damage, if you want to maximize your damage, um, the only thing that I would say right here is maybe you want to put some more burn cards into it. Um, maybe you want to put a something like a Cathartic Pyre uh, in the sideboard. Sure, yeah. You could put something to do uh, more damage. More commies, flares, uh, more lightning strikes, anything like that into the sideboard. That's probably the only thing that you might need to swap out if you really do need more removal as the game goes on. So that's just something to think about uh, for your best of three guys. I know um, some guys do best of three. A little bit more removal in case you are running into creature heavy decks or combo heavy decks or something like that. So uh, bring your big fire in case you need it. There you go. Uh, that's what we're looking at there. One, two, three. It's as simple as that. Rush them, crush them. Um, no sense being, uh, no sense being uh, nice to him. Uh, oops, alchemy rank. We're gonna go right into standard rank here. Here we go. This is again. This is what pushed us to diamond one, and might push us over to the mythic. Uh, we will get mythic this season because I'm only four or five games away from it. So uh, this is absolutely gonna push us over. What do you think? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What would you change? What would you alter? What do you like? What do you don't like? Here we go, boys. card because he had fucking 15 draw half my deck cards in the game my man had 12 wipes in that deck that's all it is wipes card draw removal that's it I can't respect a deck like that I'm sorry man do so, at least do one other thing with it. Do, give me a secondary. Give me a secondary on it. Just do that. If we can at least do that, if we can at least do 
hey, it could do something else besides just wipe the board forever. I I'll take that. You know what I mean? That's fine. Give me a backup plan. He's probably going to crack that. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I thought he was doing uh, Lauren the Artificer. Oh. Forge versus Forge here, boys. Well, when the Forges get going, we got to pump them. We're going to do Mech and a Lightning Strike. Gold slash, nice. Come on, throw more stuff out at me. Two hex gold slashes. All right, all right. Magmatic splinter is not going to be nice. Micro synth. Very nice. Cool. Nice trick. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give you the rebuttal. which is going to be mega damage. Yeah, you got to hold some of the hex golds, man. You can't play them all. At least wait one for the attack, so maybe you get one more turn. <coughs> all right. Looks like Rafine's Tower. Rafine's Tower, you know some garbage is coming in. You got some incoming garbage. Uh, decline. We might do it next time. Hit, hit, hit. Submit two. This might be a quick game. Oh, okay. He's going to get that. So let's do um, Rundevelt Horde Master. What's up, Sevis Reader? Beep 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 beep. Yup yup yup. Wub 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 wub. Experimental augury.
sacrifice creature. It's gonna be the little guy. There you go. Ooh, sorry, bub. Come on, counterspell it. Do it. Come on. Hit me with something. There we go. Yes. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Sacrifice creature. Yeah. Hindred 55 out of there. More like Kindred 55. Yeah, it was a pretty good Planeswalker. That's the aspect, that's the anti-Simic aspect. Hey, what's up, Zerther? Dark Wing Duck, let's get dangerous. Dark Wing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Man, I fucking love that show. I always say let's get dangerous and nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I heard a bunch of story stuff got released. Counterspell? Nope. Counterspell now. Risk Forge. Ooh, that's going to be bad for him. Oh, that's great. Do they only play Commander at that store? Let that one go. Let's see if he lets this one go. No, he hit he hit that one. That's okay. Pip pip, that's gonna die. That'll get oily. So you're gonna try to make a Venser, uh, a Venser commander. Delver of Secrets, as one does. Let's see if he has a regular counter spell there. No. Hit, hit. 
I'm gonna hold on to that lightning strike. So I think he's got some knockback. He's got some. He's got some sort of juice here. I know he's got some sort of juice here. Is it one of those? Is it one of those cubes? That is it one of those things that's like everyone has to agree on what commander deck you're gonna play, because we don't like OP shit or whatever. I've heard rumors of such of such places. And Ojin, that blue won't save you, man. I'm sorry, it won't. It won't it won't save you. Hey, and by the way, I'm not, if I, if that comes off as I don't like that, if you're in a if you're in a casual cube and somebody comes with a deck that's just the most fun black hole ever, I, I I have a perfectly no problem with somebody saying, "Hey, listen, bro, the deck you brought this weekend is a fucking absolute black hole." What did my friend once call it? He called the dude's deck "Fun Sucker 9000" because it was an Azorius control that just locked the game up like hard locked it like it, it just it was so unfun i mean he got his point across but we're like bro just come up with something different man ain't nobody trying to play that shit bro come on He's probably going to nuke this, even though he shouldn't. He can't help it. And I'm going to get mana screwed here. Ooh, in the Nile. We're the smooth, regulated, smoking cigarro, cigarro, cigarro. Ooh. Uh. See what he's got. Don't be a Raiju. If it's a Raiju, I'm in deep shit. It's a goddamn devastator. Okay. All right, let's hopefully get some... Uh, Let's hopefully get some schmeat here. No, I think he's... He pinged me too well coming out the gate. Schlung. Too slow on the mana draw as well. Reckless Impulse. Probably gonna get a Haster. Yeah, and then have a Burn card to play. Pop, pop, pop. Miss that mana drop. You missed that fucking mana drop. That's it. I was able to put down fucking 10 damage. But my god, I was a turn behind, man. I was a turn behind. I couldn't hit it. You gotta slow down these aggros, man. There's such good aggro options right now. GG. Bro, if you're gonna take forever, I'm just gonna concede. Come on, hurry up. There you go. Yeah, a turn behind. A turn, I was a turn behind him. I mean, not much I can do. Well, that, I mean, that was the wall of fire, so what do we expect? Booty wizard. Oh, damn. I got to fight the booty wizard, bro. That's fucked up. I don't want to have to fight the booty wizard. Not bad opener. Eh. 
I can open with facade, and that way he doesn't know what my early hand is. Oof, another red boy. Runeveld Hornmaster. I don't, I, I wish this guy, honestly, if he was a 1-2, he'd be fucking, like, an auto-include. But damn, is he fucking weak, bro. Because he's going to burn me out with just a little ping right there. He's going to Swift Spear. I don't oops me yet, bro. We're going to see. We're going to see about that oops. Hit, hit. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. You got no burn spells though, bro. Where's your burn? Strangle, very nice. It's gonna get prowess across the board there. What do we get off the top? Some mana. Okay, so we're gonna do this. was coming he knew it was coming oh our red's revenge right there okay yeah i had fun that match okay ka -chow. all right come on d1 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 removal draw decks and casual um is that just like the I've seen some of those. They're Demir. They're just Demir control. Mulligan. Keep. F I don't need fit. Lethal Demolition. Beware the creature that explodes and does damage when it dies. Very dangerous creatures are the ones that explode and do damage. Unbelievably dangerous creatures those are mmm jund ramp I don't like it I need to know what he's ramping to, though. What do you put in his graveyard? Oh, blow boy. Exile and transform. Hmm. I'm kind of low building here. What's he gonna run? Put on Blood Boy.
I'll take it. More honestly, I'm more worried about the damage from this guy than the fucking goddamn bloat. Discard up to two cards. I'll drop a mech. Mechanized warfare. He proliferated his bang buster. He's probably gonna duplicate the Kiki Jiki. Yeah, he duplicates the Kiki Jiki. He's got me. No fucking no removal out of the thirteen cards. Not a single hit. Um, too much garbage there. Way too much garbage. That's eleven right there. Yeah. Yeah, too much, too high of a board, and too slow for me. Damn, this wall of fire hard, bro. This fucking wall of fire hard as fuck. This is the most I've lost with this deck ever. Is a goddamn wall of fire. It does not want to let you pass. It, 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 listen, if the wall of fire can fucking not let you pass, it's not going to let you pass. We might change tactics. Let's try another one, though. When I'm, I've never lost on the draw. If I'm on the play, I basically win. This, I, I've, I mean, I've never won on the draw. Isn't that funny? I have an 81% win rate on the play. And if I'm on the draw, I have a 0% win rate. It's almost... It's almost a guaranteed loss if I'm on the draw. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. I gotta be honest, that's pretty funny. All right, let's do that. This problem, this might be, maybe what you might be seeing right now, you might be seeing the first on the pl on the play win ever. Okay, do that. Urbrisk's Furge. Hey, Origins, yo. What's up, Origins, yo? Wah, wah, wah. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, my goodness. The first on the play lot win that I've ever gotten with this deck. Back to the Wall of Fire. All right, we're going to attack the Wall of Fire one more time, guys. We're going to attack the Wall of Fire once more. Once more into the breach, ye merry men, ye band of brothers. For those that raise his arms with me today shall shall be my brother. What, you guys don't like Shakespeare or something? Damn, everybody got real quiet all of a sudden. Everybody got real quiet. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't getting some volume through here. There we go. That's, that, hey, there we go. Okay. Do that. Hit. Pump. Schlump. Decline. We're all focusing to help you. Focus all your energy. Channel your energy to me. There you go. Give me the dark power. Put soul transfer in it. That's a good idea. Temporary lockdown. Very nice. Okay. Monumental facade. Herbrisk's Verge. Kerr. Or Suburber. 
Armor, fur, fur, sir, a blur, a blur, slur. What do we got? I gotta get in before the farewell, guys. That's all I need to do. Just get in before the farewell. Rafines, whatever, it connives. Okay, so it's a res. It's a res. He's gonna try to res next turn. Cast the res card. Has he got his mana? No, he's got Touch of Spirit Realm for what? The Urbrisk's Verge? Kerber? Okay. Son of a bitch, man. Son of a bitch. Goddamn mana floods. 50% mana draw. I got 23 mana in the deck. No, that's a forever lockdown. Uh, so, not a little bit of false advertising there. Faithful Mending. He's looking for the res card, bro. There's a Urbrisk's Verge. If he has a fucking counterspell, I'm gonna lose it. He had a goddamn counterspell. Leyline Binding. Who's he gonna put in? Mechanized? Look at that. Look at that, guys. 14 in, 7 mana. 50% mana draw on a 23 on a 23 fucking possession mana. Beautiful, huh? You know how many hasters I have in this deck? Oh, he's gonna pull the res. He's gonna pull fucking Portal for X or some shit. Son of a bitch, man. Finally. He has a, he has a fucking counterspell. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Okay. Is that. Hit, hit, hit. Uh. Take action. Uh, submit one. Mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You can put down Rafine. I don't even have enough in my graveyard to recast Squee. So even if he hits a Raz card, I can't even recast Squee. I just have to hope I pull a I hope I pull a burn. There's the invoke. Nope. Pulled another fucking mana. Another fucking mana. Eight mana out of 16. 50% mana draw off the deck. Holy shit, man. Bro, if it ain't rigged, but I, I don't know what it is. Either I, I, I just gotta go fucking. I gotta stop playing lottery tickets. Because this is some sucking epic bad luck right here, bro. Another fucking mana. I, I now I have over one third of my mana on the board. In the first in the first sixteen cards.
pretty much any card but mana might have won me the game there. Watch this mana. Fucking squee. Let's see if he let's see if he blocks it. My goodness. Well, you made it as hard as possible, didn't you, Arena? But you put it done to put done, done had put everything in the way that you could. Oh, but I got it. I got the wall of fire. Okay. Man. Freaking mana, bro. What was that? Three turns in a row that I just did nothing? I just sat there and let him build? Woof. Mighty big oof right there, boys. Wow. We're going to switch tactics here real quick. Oily boys. I'm going to make mythic with oily boys. Citizen's Crowbar. Okay. Let's do that. Alright, interesting. Let's do that. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to want to take that. Decline. <coughs> okay. No, we're cooking with gas. Okay. Um, probably don't need two of those. Yeah, that worked out good. I don't think he's got a wipe. He needs a wipe here to kind of get to where he's going. Because I'm going to copy that exuberant fuseling. No, he's got another fable. Herbrisk's Furge? Kerber? Er? 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 Make your own kind of music.
Destroy artifact or enchantment. He might want to go for Herberesk's Forge, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine so. However, that is going to make that more powerful. My turn. Gleeful Demolition. And get that on the board. We're going to copy you multiple times. down to two right there. He's going to be at eight. <clears throat> uh, well, a, a direct hit will end the game. Um, Herberisks. Yeah, Flame Bless Bolt. That's fine. I still think he's screwed, though. Wedding announcement. Ooh, am I going to be able to get over the edge here is the question. I think the cacophony scamp is going to seal the deal here. I think it's going to seal in the juices. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, that one has to hit, but it's going to die. Dies, it does one damage. And that's gonna be a GG right there. Oh, okay. Listen, guys, this deck, this deck ain't messing around, bro. I think this is in, uh, with that one right there, with that win right there, I think we are in club, uh, I think we're in club, uh, club ultra here. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row right there, uh, with this version. So, I mean, damn, damn, okay, probably gonna push me to mythic with this guy. Absolutely, with this oily boys, even better oily boys in your area. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I'm probably going to take out a Gleeful Demonition and add a... Add a Kami's Flare just for a little bit more removal. But a damn fine deck. I mean, really, really powerful. Just the most oily boys that you could possibly even think. I'll put, put that guy in there, Stained Glass, uh, or... Yeah, so <clears throat> I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. Uh, I had a great time doing this one, guys. It's a really, really powerful deck. Um, even just flat mountains too. I didn't even put any fancy lands in it, so why not? Um, we'll see you in the next one, boys. Bye bye. Uh, word of the day is Gabo. Bye bye.